Hi guys, welcome back. I know it's been a little while, so I thought for today's vlog I'd just update you on what I've been doing lately and what I'm planning to do next. I just started school this past week uh, for my master's program and it's been like so much. I haven't even had much time to think about anything else, but I am going to try to still make videos. So in about mid-June or mid-July, I launched this collection which I was talking about for a little bit where I mostly wanted to focus on digital items and some bookmarks as well. So I had all these bookmarks which I believe I showed and just two stickers because I really didn't have the energy to do it but that went pretty well. People really like this sticker specifically which I really like as well and I also made it into a magnetic bookmark and a few people have got it but the sticker was very popular. I also launched these digital book review pages and I made it so it came in three sizes so you could use it in a digital journal or print it out in a few different sizes and I think these did pretty good as well. I wanted to have more digital items so I could do a little bit less hands-on work while I'm in school so I think that's going well. And on that same track I was thinking about what I wanted to do for the next launch and this one I did in I believe the beginning of August and I wanted to do some other digital items and specifically something I've been interested in doing for a long time which are coloring pages so I made five coloring pages and some of these you might recognize from old designs but some of these are completely new designs so there's this one which is a books and war bookshop the sunny cottage mushroom house this is my favorite this winter night the Fall Books and More Bookshop, and this Mushroom House. I wanted to do something that was a little bit lower cost than a full-on coloring book, that, but that was still enjoyable. So for this file, this is a digital product, you would get a PDF version which comes like this, like with this color, and also a PNG version like this. That you can put into procreate or a drawing program whereas the other one you can print it out and color like that if you like so i launched those in i believe mid-august and they're doing okay i saw people would like them but i still have to give it time i've also just been like trying out my own coloring sheets myself and it's actually really fun to do it digitally i think this one turned out the best i was just like coloring in the coloring in the lines. I also like to do my own shading and also details so you can really like make it your own. So the coloring sheets are three dollars in the shop right now and once you buy it you can print it or reuse it digitally as many times as you want so if you're interested you should get that. Okay so I thought I'd show you how to use the coloring page if you want to use it digitally so I just insert the file And it should come up like that and then I convert this layer to a reference layer and now there's two ways you can do it the first would be just by color dropping so you make a new layer and put it under and then you can just color drop That could be what you want to do if you just really want to focus on the details but for the other way if you really just want to like color color just add a new layer under and color how you normally would like that and so because it's a png and it's a transparent file you can change the color of any of the lines what i've been doing is just because i made it black just as a standard for for everyone but i like a little bit of a more toned down outline so you can alpha block it and make it a lighter color or really any color you want like that so right now, still with the busyness of school and everything, I'm trying to do a little fall and Halloween launch. So one thing I did for that is make this fall 
coloring sheet. It's just a cute little they are reading in a pumpkin patch. That's one thing. And I've been working on a few stickers and bookmarks. So here are the bookmarks. This is cute ghost. I kind of like unintentionally just chose this like cozy brown theme. I like it. And this colorful collage. And this one in this kind of style that I do every time. Look is this one and this one. And my favorite, which is where the design for the coloring sheet came from, is this one. I love the colors, like the fall color so much. So those are done. I actually have them right here because this is pretty much the only thing I have done right now. These ones I offer in holographic and just a glossy. And the other one's just glossy. But here they are. And so for the other things, I have three stickers that are finished and want to use and one magnetic bookmark. So here's one of the stickers. <laughs> I decided to put like the glasses on the bear. I think it's cute. So here's one, this cozy fall reading and just this cozy book stack with a cup of coffee. And this one, I love this one. I don't usually draw like black cats because it can be kind of hard because it all like blends in together but I really wanted to like try for this and I think it turned out good and apparently I liked it so much that I'm also making it into a magnetic bookmark so here's that I haven't made any of this yet but I'm planning to in between schoolwork and stuff so I'm hopefully I'm hoping to have it done soon so something else I've been doing which I haven't really talked about is knitting. I learned to knit in 2021 mainly because I was so just like bored of everything. And I've actually been crocheting for about 10 years now like I've been doing it so long but I really wanted to learn to knit because I like the look of knit clothes better. So I thought like at the end of August that I should start a project that can just help me like relax and also give me something to do on the bus because the bus ride to school is a long one. So I've been working on this sweater. You probably like it's hard to see what it is because I have it like clipped up and it's like I basically just started. But I'll put a picture of what it's supposed to look like when it's done. It's just like a v-neck sweater. I'm thinking whether to make it like a short sleeve sweater or just like a long sleeve like how it's supposed to be. I'm working on this part now which you can't really tell but it's the front flap. So this would be the back and this would go over your shoulder and go into a v-neck which is why it curves down like that and I just this part's supposed to be the whole back and I just clipped it together because it's so long so it sort of doesn't go everywhere. Yeah, I've been working on that and it's just giving me like something to think about or do other than either school or my business, which is nice. What I'm gonna do now actually though is set up to take some pictures because I don't know how much time I'll have later so I just want to take the pictures of the bookmarks now. So what I do is I use these paper pads, like a piece of paper from it, and I just do this one of words on it, I guess it goes with the and this was actually like a some sort of like Christmas craft thing but I just turn it around and put it on there like this I can take the bookmarks and put them in the middle so it kind of gets like both of them and the picture would be taken like obviously not including this just like cutting this out and I'll put a picture on the screen of what it would look like but that's usually what I do sometimes I'll change out the paper that I use or use some like props like flowers I don't know what I could use this time I think last time for the fall my fall launch I used fake leaves so I could use that again we'll see okay I decided to actually just go try to dig up some fall stuff and I found these leaves in this pumpkin so could use these
I think that looks good, very festive. So I'm just gonna take all these pictures. Now that that's out of the way, I just have to make the stickers and the magnetic bookmark and take pictures of those. Luckily, I found some time this week to actually write out the listing, so all I have to do is put it into Etsy and then put in the pictures, and I'll be done. I think that's all I'm going to be able to get to do today, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was at least somewhat enjoyable, and I hope you come back to watch more. Bye!